Um, next will be our women's volleyball coach. We have a new coach in Bob White. Uh, an unbelievable uh, record prior to uh, coming here to UNA and also going to be coaching a new sport, uh, UNA adding beach volleyball for the first time this coming spring. So uh, we'll have uh, Coach Bob White come up. Thank you very much. I'm uh, very honored to be here today uh, representing uh, University of North Alabama Volleyball. Um, I was here uh, for the first time in Florence in 2012. I had the chance to bring my previous team in Division II up here to play. Uh, my players and myself fell in love with the city of Florence in the few days that we were here. And so when this opportunity became available, um, it was something that was very exciting to look at and hope for. And, and here I am today. And so we're excited about uh, this program. A lot of firsts, I think, as everybody knows. Uh, I'm a first year coach. Obviously, I've got, uh, we're first year in the ASUN Conference, first year in NCAA Division I. I've got 10 new players uh, out of a roster of 17, so that's a lot of first uh, year players. And so it's going to be a lot of new beginnings, and what, what, that, what that brings opportunities for us. And so we're excited about looking at our schedule, looking forward to um, and being part of the ASUN. I think it's a, a very strong volleyball conference. Um, a lot of those schools are in Florida where I came from, and so I'm very familiar with their programs and their coaches. Uh, some of those we played in the spring, but I never got to play them, obviously, in, in the regular season, so excited for that. We've got a great, uh, our season's going to kind of be divided into two different seasons. The way I look at it, we're going to have a tournament season, and uh, we'll start out at uh, Jacksonville uh, State, uh, University here, and then we'll go to uh, UTC Chattanooga, which is where I started my college career, so it's kind of cool for me. And then we'll uh, finish up in Memphis. Then we'll have a little bit of break, a week break, and then we'll go right into conference play. So we're kind of have two seasons in one season, the way we're looking at it. Uh, with those 10 new players, that's going to give us a real opportunity to really find the right lineup, the, the right matchups that we want to put together, the chemistry, build our culture, building our culture, all those things we have to do with a brand new team. So I think it gives us those opportunities. Um, international flair to our team this year. We have uh, on the on both teams, we have uh, players from Germany, we have players, a player from England, we have a couple players from Puerto Rico and. And so we've got a great mix of players. That'll be fun for us as a coaching staff to bring those guys together and make sure we're all on the same page and, and communicating well with them uh, with that. Uh, two of my players are here with us today. Uh, Emma Ellis uh, and Madison Rubel both are captains for us this year. They've been immensely helpful to me and um, not knowing hardly anything, where to start, where to go, and, and uh, both of them have been great leaders on our, in our team and our program. Madison is a, is a middle, and Emma will be a, a setter for us this year, so they'll be a big help with me in trying to mesh this brand new team into this brand new squad. Beach is also equally exciting, I think, for us. Um, we have an opportunity to play FIU in a spring tournament. FIU is a finalist this year in the NCAAs, and so that's a big big match for us coming up in the spring and it's a little bit easier to schedule some of the top teams in beach than it is in the indoor but we're looking forward in the future to scheduling some of those teams moving forward but I think uh, there is great promise um, it's going to be a um, it's going to take time I think for us to build the program because it's we have so many new players and so many new pieces but we have a great plan part of our, our great plan was to make sure we put together facilities that were they were good for, for our student athletes that it's said Division I. And if you guys ever get a chance to come and see our new locker room, our what we call our new Roar room, which is our film room and uh, strategy room and scouting room, uh, theater seatings in there. It's just an amazing room. And um, so the university has and the administration, the UNA administration from Todd and Mark at the top of uh, the AD team and all those that work right underneath those two guys have been extremely helpful and extremely supportive and I've known from day one that, that uh, our opportunities to be successful have, are enhanced by their desire to help us be really successful moving forward. So I'm grateful to be here in Florence. My family's here. We already bought a house. Uh, this is home for us. Uh, I'm in language school. I'm learning Alabama and E's pretty fast and picking up on that and doing a good job with that. But uh, this has been, been an incredibly 
uh, positive. Um, everyone we've met, wherever we go, from here at 306, where we're at, being hosted right now, to everyone that I have to deal with has been so helpful. And you really feel that, um, that southern hospitality that you hear so much about. We didn't have that in South Florida. I wouldn't say there was, there's some positive things about South Florida, but Southern hospitality wasn't part of South Florida. And so I'm so grateful for, for you, University of North Alabama, its hospitality and the opportunity to do something special here um, over the next few years. Thank you very much.